Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Windows 7 installation. Um, so this is after um, it has installed, but what this will be teaching you is how to um, and enter all the information and ask you after installing like your username and everything like that. Um, so this is for anybody who's wondering how to do something or something, um, whatever. So let's start. It says Windows 7 Ultimate. This is the 64-bit version. Um, I'm upgrading from from 32-bit to 64, so I can use all my 4 gigs of RAM. So here you type in your username. So I'm gonna type in Hackers Team. So and then uh, computer name. I'll just type in. Uh, hopefully that'll work and. Hopefully I haven't used that. Oh crap. Yeah, I've used that before. PC. I'll keep it like that. Uh, Alright. Now I hear you type in a password if you want it. So, like if you want Windows to ask you for a password when you're going to log in, you type it in here. If you don't want to, then you just hit next down there. So, I want a password, so... You type it again, and then just the hint. I'm just gonna type in um, yeah, and then hit next. And then when it asks you for a product key, just enter your product key um, that came with your CD, um, and then hit next and then use the recommended settings or if you want to just install the important updates but I recommend you use the recommended settings because it will install the updates and everything you need for Windows 7 to run better and here's the time if it's wrong I'll fix it but I don't know what the time is right now so I'm gonna leave it like that um, here you can see the networks like the wireless or the things that are already connected um, so join a wireless network. I'm gonna hit this one, the security key. I'm gonna enter it. I should have it somewhere here. Okay, I found it and it okay. I'm just gonna cover that up. Once you typed it in, hit on next, right there, and there you go, um, if this came up, that means it connected successfully, and when you log back on, it's going to be ready with internet and everything. So, I'm going to put it as a home network, because this is my home computer. Okay, so... It's just going to connect to the router and apply the settings. Okay, and now it's just applying the final updates and settings. Okay. Alright, um, now I should come up with the logon log on screen and uh, it says welcome. I don't know if it's going to ask me for the password now or if it just doesn't do it the first time you log on, but we'll see. It's going to prepare your desktop for the first time you use it. This only happens once. It should take about a minute.
Okay, so now we're here. Um, it all installed successfully, and you can see down here the network uh, is connected to the network, and you have internet. Those uh, five bars right there. And here it's just gonna install the updates. Um, it's gonna use the internet to install the uh, more the newest updates. And that's it, I guess. Um, you have Windows 7, and I'm gonna check if I can if I can use my 4 gigs of RAM now. So first, let's see if it recognizes it. It does. You can see here 4 gigabytes. And now I'm gonna check how much um, it's gonna use. Okay, uh, so I have 4 gigabytes and it's going to use 3.87, so that's almost all the 4 gigs. And it's better than the 32 bit because I could only use 2.87, so it wasn't even 3 gigs. And you can see here uh, 64 bit operating system, so it should go faster. Um, depends on what your specs are and let's see and uh, you can see here the internet came up and just um, automatically connected and you didn't have to do um, all the settings now um, so yeah, all that happened in the installation of Windows 7. So if this video helped you, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I guess that's it. Goodbye.